This is part three in the series of videos on CSS styling HTML tables. In this video, we're going to be working on styling the table cells. A quick review of where we're going within these videos. We're going to be styling the simple HTML table, creating a sold to, ship to, and summary of an invoice, laying them out right and left, and clearing our summary. We're going to be working on our table below which we're going to stylize our rows and our headings and our columns. This is where we had left at the end of the last video how our page was now looking. We have completed styling our sold to, ship to, and our summary area and we have completed the beginnings of our table. We've done a border at the bottom of our headings. We've gone ahead and colored our alternate rows 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And in this video what we're going to accomplish is we're going to finish adding some borders, some um, alignment within our tables, and give our subtotal tax and shipping area no background. Before we go actually start working on our CSS, I want to go into our raw HTML and have a look at some classes that have been set up in the raw code. Those are what we're going to be working with most and changing during our CSS. So let's scroll down, take a look, and you'll see that there are two classes that have been set up within this web page. The first one is a class of number. And if you've worked with spreadsheets or done any accounting work, you'll be familiar that generally when you're working with numbers, as far as quantities, amounts, that type of thing, numbers are aligned to the right side of a column. So we're going to have this have a look of an accounting type feature and align those to the right. And the other class that we're going to be working with is our class totals. Those are actually the headings for our subtotal, taxes, shipping, and our total. And we're going to be removing some of the CSS that we're doing to our individual cells, the coloring, to make it look like more of a summary type area. So let's go up and start working on our CSS. So the first thing we're going to work with is the table cells and working with padding and borders around them to get that grid-like look. And the first one, padding, we're going to give it a 5 pixel padding all the way around so it's not bumped up right against the right or the top or the bottom or the left. Then we're going to give our border right a thin black solid border. And I'm going to copy this. As you're learning, I do suggest typing it yourself so that you get comfortable and understand all the different aspects. So I'm going to do bottom and paste it one more time and I'm going to do the left. And that'll take care of our borders and our padding on our standard cells. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to work with our number area a little bit. And we're going to do a padding of the right side. Make it a little bit bigger. Of 15 pixels. And we're going to align that text to the right so it looks like an amount. And that should take care of all our number area. And the last thing we're going to work on here is those prompts or pieces for subtotal, shipping tax, and total. And we're going to say a padding on the right side again of 15 pixels. I'm having trouble typing today. And we're going to make that text align to the right as well, so it'll be closer to our total areas, the, if the actual amounts. We're going to give those, or take away the coloring on those cells, so we're going to give it a background color of white. Use your shortcut for that, hash mark FFF. And we're going to say no borders on those areas, so they'll look different from our others. So let's save this and run it in Firefox and you'll see we've accomplished our final design. We have borders around each one of our cells. We still have our coloring where we want it. We have our subtotal tax, shipping, and total. 
a line to the right with no coloring in it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching these uh, short videos on styling HTML tables. Keep watching for more videos.